Welcome to the Cult Kitchen! On today's episode, we have yet another Reddit Recipes, where we will be trying out Pickle Palooza! We have three different recipes today from the Reddits, all featuring the pickle. We have a pizza, we have pancakes, and we also have what I will generously call a salad. The oven's ready for it. Let's do it! Who doesn't love a delicious salad featuring Takis <laughs> and pickles and grapes? What? Jeez. Stoners. You're going to crush your Takis, and that's really the only ingredient you're going to modify. The rest of it, you just pile on top of it. Smash them up until you got a fine mist. And now we arrange the rest of our salad. So you got to start with your grapes, right? They're the base of your salad. And that looks like a, a decent amount of Takis, I guess. And then, jeez! A heapin' helpin' of them pickles. <laughs> Go on top of there. This actually looks more appetizing than the bread at post just because it's on a plate and not in a takeaway bin. What goes together here? Uh, like pickles and cheese can work out. Takis and cheese? Takis and pickles? Maybe? Grapes and any of this? I don't know. Let's make sure to get a, a good a good amount of everything. Yum. It's it's really just a mishmash <laughs> of flavors that um that are all just competing. Nothing goes together really. The acidity of the pickle and the juice of the pickle takes over the flavor for the most part. The takis are really just giving a texture. The grapes are giving it a juiciness that I'm not sure you need. <laughs> And the cheese is, it's just being cheese. <laughs> the cheese is really the fourth wheel of this threesome that's happening. <laughs> Here's the benefit of the doubt I'm giving this person is maybe they're pregnant, right? You know how pregnancy cravings can get real crazy. And I could see that like, oh, these things, you know, all these like key flavors that I'm into, maybe if I just throw them all together, it'll make me happy. Surprisingly, the grapes don't really ruin anything about this. Like I said, they just kind of make it extra juicy. <laughs> so, maybe grapes and pickle? That's not the worst, honestly. I think it's just because you like pickle. Maybe. Maybe it is. I do love pickles. Now, let's get that straight. <laughs> Before I review all these, I do love me some pickles. And I've been known to make a sandwich out of just pickles and cheese. And a lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> a lot. I feel like there's something there, actually. Like, maybe there's some kind of pickle pickle slaw. Or like a jardinier that you can make out of, like, grapes with pickles. Uh, I give this uh, three pregnant ladies out of five. <laughs> pickle pancake, make a pickle pancakes. Take a pickle and you put it in a pancake. Pickle pancakes! You start off with your dry. Uh, and instead of the water you would typically add, or maybe buttermilk if you're that style, you're gonna use the juice of the pickle. Oh! That's right. Oh! No. Squeeze the juice! Oh. Oh, I'm not really sure how much they had. <laughs> I guess we're going for a texture. Okay, this is, this is approaching. This is, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to have a couple of gives it character. Yeah. With any cake, you don't want to mix it until it's a, a homogenous, smooth liquid. You want a little bit of lump. There we go. And if you just look at it, you might mistake it for a normal pancake. And we can't let that happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta... Let everybody know what kind, oh, of, what kind no. of pancake you got going on here. Oh, no. Boom. Yay. That's a beautiful pancake. Until you fucking figure out what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> the Reddit post didn't mention any of the normal dressing up of a pancake you would do. Now, I had to put a little dollop of butter on there because it's a fucking pancake. Come on. But before we do the traditional, we're going to get a little taste. Pickle. 
but the cooking really subdues the pickle flavor. That's honestly not the worst. <laughs> if you've ever been through like a food truck, a breakfasty food truck, where they might do a crepe sort of thing, there is stuff like that there. Well, they'll, they'll fill their crepe with whatever the fuck, right? You can get savory, you can get sweet. It's not too dissimilar from like a uh, McGriddle or something, right? Their pancakes are even sweeter than normal pancakes. And they put sausage on that, and it's delicious. While I think this is actually, I'm going to say good, I think it's missing something because you need the other accoutrement. This is a starting point. It's not the end result. Let's try it with a little bit of scissor. I think ultimately what you want to do is make the wildest Reuben sandwich you could ever think of. <laughs> or maybe even a Cubano. Pancake Cubano? That sounds crazy. Breakfast Cubano. Just crazy enough to fucking work. Oh. That's a step too far. <laughs> you get a little bit of pancake that tastes mostly like a normal pancake. A little bit of syrup. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Pickle, what the fuck are you doing here? Why don't you give me your ideas down below? Let me know what you think you want a pickle pancake for. Pickle pancake! Pizza. Can't go wrong with pizza, right? Well, let's try. Here we have a pepperoni frozen pizza. Oh, with pepperoni. That's where you start. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. <laughs> You're going to need to add you some Reese's peanut butter chips. I'm a little bit scared of these just dumping and melting all over my oven. So what we're going to do is kind of centralize. And then uh, this one specifically calls for spicy pickle chips. And this is the brand I went with. The Extreme Heat Blastic. I'm going to throw this in the oven. We're going to cut real quick. Pop! It's going to be right back here. It's movie magic, people. Let's do it. More juicy than I would expect. I know it's it's got a bunch of pickles on top of it, but... I mean, come on. Um... What? <laughs> This isn't quite the right peanut butter for this kind of application. It's a little bit too sweet. However, when, when you mix the peanut butter with the briny pickle, with salty, sour pickle, and even the pepperoni sort of oil, add all that flavor together, and you're actually heading into sort of Thai peanut sauce direction. This isn't quite that, obviously. However, it's sort of reminiscent. It's sort of in that direction. Um, I sort of hate myself for saying this, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not angry at this pizza. I'm angry at myself. <laughs> Don't judge me. I know there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, get me away from it. Get me away from it. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong about this. Well, if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what we've discovered here is that if you have a million stoners <laughs> working on a million recipes, <laughs> eventually... One of them's gonna end up with Hamlet, or whatever. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Reddit Recipes, where we tried out the Pickle Palooza. If you have any Reddit recipes you'd like to see me try here on the show, go ahead and post them down below, or even better, post them in the Reddit. The links will be right there. It's much easier to track. Please like, share, subscribe. Go check out the social deeds. Pickles. Pickles and peanut butter pizza. Try it. Put it on a pancake! Cook it for 54 years! <laughs> it goes that easy because it's cheesy! Woo!